Statue of Our Lady, carved by St. Joseph. According to tradition, the little wooden statue of the Virgin Mary nursing the infant Jesus, known as Nossa Senhora de Nazaré, Our Lady of Nazareth, was carved by the Virgin's spouse, St. Joseph the Carpenter, and was later painted by St. Luke. In the 5th century, it was removed from Palestine by the Greek monk Syriacos to safeguard it from the iconoclast and taken to the monastery of Colignana near Merida, Spain. St. Joseph's statue remained there until the year 711 when, after the Christian defeat at the Battle of Guadalete, it was taken to Monte Bartolomeo on the Portuguese coast by a friar named Romano. Today the area is known as Nazaré, named after the statue from Nazareth. While it has been believed that King Rodrigo, last king of the Visigoths, died in the Battle of Guadalete, there is a legend that he supposedly fled the battle rather than allow himself to die at the hands of his enemies. He temporarily took refuge at the monastery at Quelliniana, befriending the monk Romano during his stay. After learning that the invading Muslim forces were making their way to Kaliniana, Romano was tasked with safeguarding some of the monastery's choice treasures, including the statue of Our Lady. He fled to what is now the Portuguese coast, taking King Rodrigo with him. When they reached their destination, they settled in an empty hermitage on the top of Monte de São Bartolomeu. After some time, the king and the friar decided to separate and to live as hermits. Romano settled in a little grotto on the edge of a cliff above the sea, taking the relic with him. King Rodrigo lived in seclusion on Mont São Bartolomeu for a year before moving to Viseu, where he spent the rest of his days. Friar Romano stayed in his grotto above the sea, safeguarding the holy statue until the day he died. The statue remained undisturbed on the little altar in the grotto until the 12th century. In the year 1182, a miracle would be attributed to the statue carved by St. Joseph. Legend has it that on the foggy morning of the 14th of September of that year, naval battle hero Dom Fuaj Rupinho of Porto de Mosh was out hunting on horseback. Spotting a deer in the fog, he quickly gave chase. The deer ran straight to the edge of a cliff, going over, falling into the sea below, with Dom Rupinho on his heels. When the Dom realized there was a cliff and he was about to go over the edge, he instantly called out for the Blessed Virgin Mary to save him. Quite suddenly, the horse stopped on its hind legs at the edge of the cliff, saving the rider and his mount from a drop of more than 100 meters, which would certainly have caused their deaths. This spot is known today as the Bico do Milagre, Point of the Miracle. When the fog cleared, Dom Rupinho realized that he had been saved right beside the little grotto which housed the statue carved by Saint Joseph. In thanksgiving to Our Lady for saving his life, he commissioned the building of a small chapel over the grotto. During construction, an ivory chest was found containing some relics and an old parchment telling the history of the little statue. The chapel, known as the Capella de Memoria, Chapel of Memory, still stands today. The humble statue carved by St. Joseph as a loving tribute to his wife and son now resides in the Baroque Santuario de Nossa Senhora de Nazaré, built close to the chapel which originally housed it.